Hey YouTube, it is Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com coming at you again with another uh, one of our Take It Apart videos. This time, um, RCF has been so kind to send us a NXL 44A, their new column speaker. This is the big brother, papa daddy, or whatever you want to call it, to the NXL 24. Um, this box, we ended up firing it up um, prior to doing the video, and all I can say is, oh my gosh. Um, the output out of this thing and just the sonic clarity and everything with it with the three 10 inch drivers and that uh, horn manifold assembly um, is absolutely amazing sounding. The low end out of this thing it will just capture you like you will not believe um, out of just a, a single column box. Um, so before we get into the video I just want to get into the specs um, that comes with uh, each of these and a warranty certificate. Um, from RCF USA, but let's go ahead and get into the back section here on the specs of the NXL 44A. Um, frequency response is measured at 45 to 20. Max SPL out of this box is 134. The horizontal coverage uh, is 90 degrees this way, um, probably a little bit more, but spec-wise um, 90 degrees. Vertical coverage 30 degrees, so very focused in the forward um, Vertical coverage. Crossover point. This is what is amazing. We played with this and swept back and forth playing some music um, and the crossover point on this thing um, is pretty low um, with the 800 hertz um, crossover on this thing. Really does a great job uh, for instruments and for vocals and things like that um, at that point. Um, the complement of drivers is three 10 inch drivers with two and a half inch voice coils and then we've got a uh, a two inch driver for the high frequencies that uh, has a three inch voice coil in it. Um, 1400 watts total power, so you're looking at about 700 watts um, RMS. Um, it's got the standard XLR connectors in and out on it, power con in and out, and then it does have some limiting um, into the DSP on the thing, um, as with all of the, uh, the NX um, cabinets. So. Uh, warranty certificate, you get this in the box with your serial number on it. Um, it's got an area on there so you can place your um, proof of purchase. Uh, one of the things that we want to remind you is register your product for the extended warranty on it. So um, they offer a three-year um, warranty on these with the extended registration, so it's very important that you do that. Um, but what we're going to do now is just kind of get into the box. Um, this thing is tall enough that this happens to be the first um, speaker demo, uh, take it apart video that we're doing where we've had to sit the thing on the floor um, that it just was too tall to put up on the table to be able to spin it. So we've got the thing on the floor, a little, little wobbly on the, uh, the rotating dolly. But um, what I want to do as we get into this, I will talk about, we'll... Um, pull the grill off and show you the drivers and then show you the construction of the box and everything as well. But um, what I want to do now is get into um, just the back of the amplifier, show um, what is that. And it's standard on all their, their digital amps um, in the NX series and also like the HD series and things. Typical inputs, outputs, and um, settings on the back of those. So um, let's go ahead and uh, flip this thing around and we'll show you what the, uh, the back of this box looks like. So here on the back of the box, um, as you can see, we've got our standard um, XLR in and out. We also have a quarter inch um, input as well. It does have adjustable sensitivity for line or mic inputs in case you want to use this just for a talking head event and just plug a microphone into it. Um, it does have a limiter light. It does have a signal light and then the status light. Um, as far as condition of the amplifier and also power on signal. And then it does have here the um, kind of a what they are calling a flat and a boost mode for the low end. Um, so we played with that a little bit. I couldn't tell at the volumes that we were listening to of what that really um, sounded like and did, but um, we'll get into that later. Then as we pan down um, on this, you'll be able to see what the um, rest of the amplifier looks like with a heat sink, um, because this is pretty much all heat sink. Um, on this amplifier and then we get into the power input section um, which is just a standard um, power con in, power con out. There is a fuse here and then just a standard on off switch and then the amplifier is put in um, 
just with the uh, the Allen head screws as they typically are um, on the uh, the amplifiers um, on all of the NX series boxes. So with that said, um, we're going to flip this thing around and get into the um, the inside of it here and go ahead and just spin it around for the camera. We're going to have to zoom back out again um, as we get into this and show you what the uh, the drivers and the construction are. Um, weight wise of this cabinet I was able to somewhat lift it up um, and get it onto the table and that's when we realized that it was a little bit too tall um, to do it and so um, that's why it's sitting where it is and um, I'm standing behind it. So um, dimension wise hold on one second and let's get back into that to let you know how big this cabinet actually is. Um, oh gosh, and it's all in millimeters. So we're going to have to do some conversions for you um, before we uh, get into that. But um, I'd say we're probably a good four feet tall, if not taller, on this cabinet. Um, it is big um, with the 10 inch drivers in it. And so um, one of the nice things about this is that these can be stacked together just like the NXL24s. So you can flip one upside down on the other and let the horns couple together and have just a wonderful, nice, tall, powerful column system. Um, like I've said in some of our other videos, we've got the RCF TT11 system, um, which is a tall column system of um, two boxes uh, with low frequency mid and high frequencies. But the column speakers, uh, as such as this will not disappoint you at all. Um, we have sold a lot of the NXL 24s and everybody that has bought them has just been absolutely um, amazed at the output and uh, sonic clarity um, of those boxes. So um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into it and uh, show you what this NXL 44A from RCF is all about. Okay, so we've got the front cover off and what I'm going to do is just kind of remove the thing so that you can see here and uh, it closes the horn on the top and then um, our other camera has got the, uh, the 10 inch driver in it here and um, this thing is uh, extremely well built. The grill assembly um, on this and you really can't see but it's got little rubber feet here. Um, insulators on it so that when it goes in and screws in, um, let me get this out of the way, um, screws in that it isolates the grill from the cabinet um, so you don't get any rattling or anything like that. So they've done a really nice job with that. Um, again, as with all of their series, foam lined, acoustically transparent, so it hides the speakers and really does a, uh, a nice job in um, making the cabinet look quite pro that it is. Um, so as far as construction wise, um, this is an all wood cabinet. Um, I'm assuming as we get into it, it's going to be a uh, kind of a birch plywood um, type assembly as most of their um, NX series and on up cabinets are. It does have um, pull cups in the top and the bottom of it um, so that when the speakers are inverted, flipped, that they can be aligned. Um, and then it also has on the side here um, bracket, uh, assembly brackets that go in and will lock two of the cabinets together when it's um, when it's inverted um, up on top of the other one. Um, the cabinet does have four handles on it, um, two up in about the first third and the other two down in the, uh, as you can see there, down in the second third of the, uh, the cabinet. So what we're going to do is go ahead and um, get the drivers pulled in this thing. We'll pull this uh, multicellular horn assembly here first and take a look at that and the driver that's on it and then we'll go in and take a look at the, um, look at the drivers on this starting with the multicellular horn and then we'll look at the 10 inch driver and uh, get into this uh, RCF NXL 44A box. Okay, so we got this out. I'm a little close in right now but I thought it'd be worth it to show you what we've got. Um, this is the cellular horn driver for that box. Um, similar kind of waveguide to what they've done um, from this back portion here um, with the uh, the HDL20. Um, so it looks very similar to that and the um, the driver here on the back of it. I'll get a little bit closer here so you can kind of see how big this driver and this horn assembly really is. Um, this is um, well over 12 inches um, in this horn assembly and the flare on this thing. Um, it is all made of um, injection molded plastic. 
um, for the waveguide assembly. As you can see with the offsets here, what they've done is working on what I am assuming um, timing and phase alignment um, for the driver to be able to splay through the, uh, the horn assembly. But you can kind of see also of the slightly angled down um, coverage. So this would go out and then from the bottom here with this, the coverage is going to end up spilling down on the high frequency. So it gives it that slightly tilted down angle um, that they talk about in these specifications. Um, this is all held in with um, threaded inserts um, all the way around the front of the box here. And um, what we'll do is just kind of pan up a little bit There we go, and we'll do a little bit of a pullback on this so you can kind of see. They have isolated the, um, the horn chamber um, from the rest of the box um, so that it's not taking up and, and utilizing the volume of what they're doing with the 10 inch drivers in here um, into this horn cavity. But um, you can see the construction of it. It is um, all multi-layer um, birch plywood construction. There is a in the back and you can kind of see it there, um, a support for the horn um, in the box itself so that this thing will sit in there and um, have some additional support rather than just relying on this assembly to be able to, um, to support it. So um, that is the, the horn assembly on this thing. Um, this driver um, is probably some of the, uh, the same drivers that they're using in some of their other boxes. And um, however, there's not a specific part number on it that I would recognize in their, um, their driver lineup. So it may be something that is just um, custom for this uh, NXL44 box. So um, we're gonna go ahead and set this aside and uh, then get into pulling one of the, um, the 10 inch drivers and see what those are looking like. Um, from the weight of this thing, um, it is a Neo driver um, on this horn assembly. Okay, so without getting in your face too much, I um, want to show you this driver. It is, uh, there's three of these in the cabinet, 10 inch drivers. Um, they are Neo magnets on them. Uh, they are stamped um, frame assemblies. Um, the cones on these things are all um, coated, um, just standard. Um, paper surround um, on them and um, nothing unique or anything. It is a 16 ohm speaker so they're taking all three of these things and um, splitting the impedance down so that we've got um, 16 ohms divided by three. Um, so it's going to be the um, in parallel going to be end up probably getting close to about four or five ohms um, on the uh, the drivers on this thing is and that's how they're able to coax the power out of this amplifier to supply it to all of these um, there are three 10 inch drivers on this thing. So um, the construction on I'm going to go ahead and put this down up here but the construction on it as you can see inside here and we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. All th three of these drivers share the same common cavity space and then you can see how the amplifier is in the back here. The amplifier is open to the air in the cabinet um, to help provide for additional cooling. They sure they felt that they didn't need to isolate it um, and needed the additional volume. And it's good that they did because the low frequency out of this thing is just absolutely amazing with these three 10 inch drivers. So construction wise, um, it is very solidly braced. The port holds are all made out of um, about a looks like about half inch ply but the rest of the cabinet is all um, uh, in US um, looks like about three quarter inch um, multi-layered plywood um, birch plywood on it um, it's you know painted inside and out um, that way then if you happen to have light coming in to through the grill and through all that backing foam into the cabinet you're not going to get any kind of reflections or anything um, off the speakers, which is a, uh, a nice feature to have um, that you won't see any of the raw plywood shining through in the back um, that would show up white on video or, or um, to the audience. So um, construction wise, again, um, it's got the handles um, top and bottom. Let's see if we can turn this here and let you kind of see what we'll do a little bit of a, a zoom out here on it and you get a top to bottom on the side. 
so bottom of the box and then coming up on the side there's the first handle and the second handle and then on up um, this cabinet um, is right at uh, at 48 inches um, as far as the height is concerned it's about 15 inches deep this direction um, and, and uh, across the face of it it is um, about 12 inches wide um, so you know if somebody you know is setting up on their own um, this cabinet can be done um, by somebody that's got you know some good body strength um, for me because that's not me um, I'd have to have some help um, with this cabinet uh, to be able to stack two of these on top of each other um, or I'd have to join them together and walk them up um, and stand them up on top of a sub or something like that by myself, which I probably couldn't do anyway. So um, that's just me. But um, as far as the weight of these things, I thought that they were going to end up being more, but thank goodness to the Neo components um, in this box um, has kept the weight down considerably um, from doing something with, uh, with ceramic magnets in it. So um, construction wise, this thing is built really quite well. Um, I haven't found or seen any dampening material in it at all, um, so it must not be needed um, acoustically. Um, but like I said, um, the low frequency response out of this box has just been um, mind blowing. Um, just amazing um, what they're able to do with these um, the the three ten inch drivers in this thing. Um, I'm not going to pull the amp on this guy because we've pulled amps on other comparable speakers and they're all pretty much the same. Um, SMPS power supplies, multiple voltages across them, all surface mount technology. These amplifiers do not incorporate any fans in them to keep them cool. It's all convection cooling so you never have to worry about a fan breaking uh, and overheating your amplifier. Um, these are solid amplifiers. I have never had any problem with any of the amplifiers. Um, from RCF, um, they just work. That, that's all I can say, uh, and very solid. DSP on these guys, um, and the way that they've tuned this series of box, the NX um, boxes, this NXL44 and also the 24, um, they've done an exceptional job. As I've said in some of our other videos, we have uh, 14 or 16 of their NX series monitors. Uh, 12 inch and 15 inch and the whole entire NX line um, is really quite a cut above um, the competition. So with that said, um, we're going to go ahead and get this back together and put a uh, little bit of noise through it and look at what the frequency response is on this. And then I'm hoping in the future that we can take this thing outdoors and um, play with it a little bit and um, see what it sounds like uh, with a subwoofer below it. So back together we go and we'll be running some noise through it and taking a look on SMART. Okay, so we've got the SMART setup. As you can see, we're rolling here live. And what I'm gonna do is just run some noise through it here real quick. We are on about three feet away from the cabinet and here we go. So as you can see from that trace that the cabinet is um, fairly flat up in the high frequency area. Um, it does go down um, to the lower limits that they say it does and in fact it looks like it goes a little bit lower. Um, we are picking up a little bit of a rumble just out of the room um, from the low frequency side of things. Um, what I want to do is also show what the boost button does and uh, give you an idea of what that adds in um, as far as the, uh, the low frequency boost on the, uh, the NXL44. So here we go again.
and we're going to go ahead and hit the boost button. So it looks like it also maybe boosted the high frequencies a little bit as well. We're going to go ahead and pull that back out. In, out, in, out. So it looks like it maybe has got a little, uh, let me shut this off here. So it looks like it's got a little bit of low frequency boost to it and also some high frequency boost um, on the cabinet. But um, the sonic quality of this thing um, is absolutely amazing with the, uh, the drivers in it. With the, um, the three 10 inch drivers that they put in this thing and then also this um, manifold horn that they've got into it. Um, the sound out of this thing is just amazing. It just makes me wish that I could put a couple of these into our rental inventory. But like I said, we've got the TT11 um, that is doing a wonderful job. Um, all the RCF stuff um, warranted for three years. Make sure you get your little card filled out and registered online with RCF. Um, the team at RCF USA is uh, fantastic. Um, they will go out of their way to make sure that uh, all of their customers and clients are satisfied with the product. The product is solid, um, manufactured in Italy and uh, brought over here and uh, it's distributed out of the warehouse in uh, Edison, New Jersey, RCF USA. Staff there is fantastic. So with that said, um, this is the RCF NXL44A, um, kind of the big brother to the NXL24. Um, I wish I had another one of these things to do the demo outdoors with and really get this thing cranking, but hopefully here within uh, the next few days we'll be able to get something done outdoors and um, kind of do some SPL measurements and walk around and take a listen to it. Just a short video on something like that um, that we will end up doing. So thank you for stopping by our channel. Thank you for watching. Um, Keep posted um, and watch the channel. Uh, we have a lot of videos coming up, um, not just from RCF, but some of the other Italian uh, speaker manufacturers that uh, we are dealers for, and also about 45 other pro audio and lighting lines. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Area code 209-832-8023. Look us up on the website, www.trinityprosound.com. And then we also have a Facebook presence uh, under Trinity Pro Sound as well. So we post things on there um, as well. So um, again, thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by our channel. Again, Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com. Take care.